what do you want? GS and it's pretty new man it's pretty new uh, of course this GS it's um, I think it's the most sold adventure model um, throughout the world and one of the best models of, uh, of BMW I have been waiting to ride this uh, this motorcycle for quite a while I actually wanted to go for a ride um, on the the 1200 GS from the owner of Motorport. Uh, he did have the um, Jekyll and Hyde exhaust system mounted on it, so that would have been an awesome experience to share with you guys. Um, but this motorcycle actually was brand new, um, it didn't have any kilometers on it yet. They were cool enough to, um, to find another model, and also brand new, to be riding instead. So I'll, I will definitely return for this, uh, this sound check of that exhaust, the Jekyll and Hyde exhaust. This one has the standard exhaust mounted. So it's going to be a riding experience only and happy to share that with you guys. That sounds so smooth man. There's just something about the BMW motorcycles that makes them so incredibly smooth. Sick. Back at Motorport, uh, they mounted this BMW navigation um, for, for me. They, uh, they did set up uh, a ride for one hour uh, in the area with the same start and end point and a random, uh, a random route. And it brings you to roads that you've never seen before, which is awesome. This corner, yeah. Why haven't I found this before? What is this? What the F? Oh, yes, man. Feels like a, a go kart track. <laughs> something different even though uh, the um, XT I've been riding earlier was 1000 cc and this one is uh, 200 cc's more uh, bigger engine but there is so much electronics in this one I couldn't even remember every detail that is uh, that is in this thing uh, but it has a lot to do with uh, stability and keeping traction in corners and off-road areas as well Today I'm going for the dynamic uh, riding mode. I just want to be able to make a fun ride and don't have too much interference with, uh, with my throttle response. Uh, there's not much traffic here, so didn't need to use the, uh, the uh, road mode. It does have a quick shifter, of course, and it's a uh, response um, so different from, the, uh, from my MT-09. Just trying to compare the uh, the amount of, of wind that is in my face or touching my helmet at the moment. The 1000 XT I was riding earlier did have a, a large windscreen. It was much higher than this one, and it was interfering with my vision a little bit. And this much smaller windscreen, which is transparent, gives me a better overview, and I don't feel any wind to be honest. So it's um, pretty aerodynamic. Seems to work pretty well. And that is just one of the big differences is that all details have been worked out and sorted out um, to perfection with BMW. But glad to ride it today. And it feels light man, so easy to control. I must say that even though this is a huge huge motorcycle, 
um, on which I feel very small. But it feels like there is a small machine in between my legs and that does sound very bad. Um, but it's... Um, it feels slim. If that explains anything. Let's try this for a second. These go a little bit off-road. <laughs> yeah, what the heck. Jesus, everything works. Works like it should. The brake... Response... <laughs> That's crazy. It brakes so gently. Oh man, it, this stuff does work. Wow. I can now start to understand why this is the number one adventure model. These electronics truly do help you. You don't even feel the ABS uh, respond. I was pressing the brake pretty, uh, pretty good just to test it. And it just braked so gently in the, in the dirt. Ooh. That flop. Makes me wonder how this would sound with a with an aftermarket exhaust. Jesus, you can definitely feel the torque in this machine. Ooh. Actually, I want to go for a little sprint and see how this one does in dynamic mode. Oh, excellent failing. Oh, yeah, I know, I failed. What? What do you want? used to the brakes um, it takes a while till the brake kicks in front brake so there's a lot of empty space there but they do work Jesus <laughs> the, brake, the brake works it starts to make me wonder if, uh, if it's possible to make any mistake on this machine but still, you are riding at uh, pretty vicious speeds and you still are on two wheels. There's a lot of electronics built within this thing to keep you safe and to um, control this motorcycle in any condition. And you feel that. Do I want to return this? Nope, I don't. Let me keep this for the weekend. <laughs> that wouldn't be bad at all. When you release the throttle in a corner, it does give you a little uh, wobble in the uh, in the suspension. You need to keep a very little amount of throttle uh, while cornering. And when you release it, it tends to make it a little dive. It's literally the one thing <laughs> that made me feel huh? today. Other than that, it's all so comfortable, powerful at the same time. Time to return this and to call it a day. Thank you, Motorport. So cool that you guys lent me these machines. Um, different price ranges and a whole different experience as well. This 
is the road that I want to be riding. 